Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make this terrain more realistic in Studio Light. The first thing we need to do is create a block or choose an existing one. In this case, I'm going to use the base plate. After you've chosen your block, click on the plus sign. Then choose script. Then scroll to the bottom and click on insert. Now you're going to write a two line code. Yes, just two lines. The code is there. But it's not complete yet. Do you see where it says Enumpo Material at the end? There, you add another dot and then the name of the material you want. But Igor, I don't know the names of the Roblox Studio materials. An image will appear on the screen with the material names in English and their Portuguese translations. Then you choose the material and write, for example, Enum Punto Material Bone Grass. After you've chosen your material, you add the closing symbol there. Then on the second line, you add the weight. The script, script tonto palette punto destroy. And the code looks like this. If you feel unsure about writing it manually, I leave it in the pinned comment. This is the code I wrote, but it will transform it into grass and you can modify it there. Now, click the play button. As you can see, my base plate has turned into grass. And no, it won't show the base plate disappearing and the grass appearing. Because Roblox has that loading screen and by the time the game loads, it's already turned into normal grass. And since Studio Light doesn't have very good terrain compatibility, the grass terrain will remain here in the studio, for example. Just don't delete the block, because if you do, it won't be there when you play the game. And this grass is like a ghost grass. So it kind of doesn't exist, but there's no way to remove it. The only way to remove it here in the viewing area is if you exit the game and enter again because it's a bit glitchy.